Hello, it's 25 July 2021 and I will start this video by reading Revelation 12 verses uh, 12 to 16. Um, the Holy Spirit's led me to share this message first um, before I share another a message. He was giving me, um, uh, he was bombarding me with the confirmations that I was asking for and I'll show you the confirmations a bit later on. So Revelation 12, verse 12 to 16. Uh, Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. The woman persecuted now, when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. But the woman who was given two wings of a greater eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the presence of the serpent. So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. And I'll just read 17. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who, kept, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So, so back in May or June 2021, I came across a news, a local news article about sea snakes being found on the beaches of New Zealand, which is uh, very rare. We don't have snakes here, um, but they do sometimes appear on our beaches um, on the currents from from other parts, such as Australia. And this one's entitled "Snakes, Snakes on a Beach." Uh, and they are. Um, very deadly. So um, three yellow-bellied sea snakes were found on our shores and just came to me that three is a number of confirmation. So as I read the article it um, I was reminded of a dream I had as a child um, where I was in deep water with my mother and myself and I saw a, a black and yellow sea snake coming along and as it approached us I began rebuking it in Jesus name and um, I've always remembered that dream and um, never really knew what it meant um, but as I prayed into it um, Holy Spirit had me understand that my mother symbolizes the woman in Revelation 12 and I symbolize the child or the man-child, serpent, the sea snake is of course Satan, the dragon in Revelation 12 and the waters are in Revelation 12 as well. So it was a Revelation 12 dream and um, I can see that it has three layers of meaning. The first being that um, uh, it confirms my calling as um, part of the man-child. In Revelation 12 and a second possibly because the the vaccine has been called a snake bite it was a warning um, to my mother um, but she's already taken the bite um, despite all my warnings and giving her information and fasting and praying but I continue to fast and pray for her and, and my family and then the third um, which I believe um, is a message for the whole church and the whole body is that um yeah it's a warning to to get out of the waters of revelation 12 and the lord uh, led me to um a video by a sister judy uh Lab labwala <laughs> i can't say her name but i will link her video and i'll uh, briefly explain what she was shown and the uh, revelation given to her about the waters of Revelation 12. Um, 
So I did a quick search, uh, Yellow and Black Sea Snake New Zealand, to find the articles. And if you just have a look here, it says it's highly venomous, yellow-bellied sea snake, um, highly venomous sea snakes washing up on the beaches uh, and not to touch them. Uh, highly venomous down at the bottom. And second deadly sea snake in nine days found. Highly venomous sea snakes show up on New Zealand beaches. And I just looked at this article before here. So what what these news articles are saying is that um, the this the snake in the article that was or that was found in New Zealand is um, being shown to be very deadly and venomous, and it's a, it's a warning and a sign to the body of Christ to the to the all Christians to take heed of this warning. So here it says only. Weeks after one of the world's most deadly s snake species was seen for the first time in two decades in the ocean's twilight zone, yet another highly dangerous sea snake was discovered along international shorelines. And it says here, a woman at a nearby dairy shop told them, that's the people who caught the snake on the beach, that they had caught a yellow-bellied sea snake, which, according to the Australian Museum, can deliver a powerful bite with enough toxins to paralyse or kill any humans that come across it. And as we know, um, many of those who are asleep in the church pews, um, they're paralysed and immobilised by um, many things. They have a spiritual slumber or a sp spirit of sleep over them. And uh, it is potentially deadly if they do not wake up. And I found this part interesting. It says, I didn't know what to do with it, the boy told the outlet. I chopped its head off, put it in a bag and threw it out. And in spiritual warfare, um, we're indeed meant to to uh, bring violence to the kingdom of Satan by chopping off its head, by crushing, smashing and destroying all the enemies and servants of the darkness. So as I prayed into the stream and asked for more understanding, the Lord led me to Sister Judy's video on 29th of June. Um, but I just wanted to ask the Lord to see if I should share it. And I said if if, if he wanted me to, to show me um, yellow and black colours around me. And um, I began taking photos and I had, I came across an album that I began and I had six images in it um, I was uh, I was um, I was telling my boys about the dream I believe and then I remembered that I had asked for these yellow and black um, images and signs to be shown to me for confirmation and I actually I must have forgotten about it but the Lord brought this to my remembrance. So the day that I remembered, I only had six images in the album. And that evening, as I told my boys, I saw four more uh, black and yellow all around me, just within our kitchen dining area in the space of one minute. And then in the space of one or two days following, I have now taken 44 pictures or, or images. So I'll just quickly show you these. So it's all of these in this album, all the yellow and black I began seeing around me. One of the first ones I saw was this one. Magna Viking, um, a Norwegian tug, and that was for this movie Tenet, a, a time, a time twisting, time bending movie, and even in the image here, it's uh, black and yellow, and yellow and black is is uh, on here twice. 
black and yellow highlighted and then black and yellow highlighted at the bottom so yeah the lord was he was definitely reminding me um confirming to me that he wants this shared as a warning to the church body so please if you can um share this this warning to those who are asleep and just pray holy spirit will um open up their ears so um i forgot to list down the the five things from sister judy's teaching revelation video but i will um try and do it as i edit the the video later on so i um spirit led me to listen to this and the title of judy's message was um it was for kenya and also for the church uh, it was about Jezebel, Leviathan, Python, serpents, and the connection that the five husbands um, of the woman at the well. Um, so we know that Jezebel, Leviathan, and Python, they are all uh, serpentine uh, spirits, entities, and um, Jezebel and Leviathan together run the marine kingdom. If you don't know what the marine kingdom is please research it but, but briefly it is the the most the most biggest massive extensive and highly organized kingdom of satan here on this earth and it encompasses industries business commerce um of fashion uh hair and makeup um jewelry accessories uh yep clothing um, also technology and social media, uh, uh, it has many, many layers and it's responsible for worldliness. Okay. So it's a trap and a snare for the whole world and the church. Many Christians are falling for these traps and snares. Um, oh, I must go back and, t and show you how, um, I got to the understanding that the black and yellow snake it symbolizes the world but I'll do that later so basically the yellow and black serpent it symbolizes the world which uh, is drowning in the marine kingdom basically and being ruled and run by the marine kingdom um, and the the woman at the well she had five husbands meaning that she couldn't stick with one husband, not just one, she couldn't be faithful to one husband, but she had many husbands. She had several. So she was, she symbolizes an unfaithful woman or and a woman symbolizes a, a body or a group of people or a corporate body, which is the church. And we know in this day, in these end times, that many in the church are unfaithful to Jesus, they are being spiritually unfaithful to Jesus uh, because they have many idols in their hearts which need to be taken down and um, they are not practicing spiritual faithfulness and they have lost their first love or they are feeding from the table of Satan and the table of Jesus and they are being lukewarm because of this. They have got worldliness in them and they are serving two masters um, and mammon is one of these five husbands that judy was shown um, and it says in scripture that uh, we cannot serve two masters we cannot serve money and jesus so this is the dilemma that the much of the church is in today lukewarmness and intermingling of the holy and the profane and they are not 100% sold out to Jesus and they're not separating themselves from the world. They are not um, setting themselves apart and making themselves and keeping themselves holy and pure and spotless, ready for Jesus, their bridegroom. And that's why the church isn't ready. So... The five husbands that Sister Judy was shown, I will just summarize this and then I will link Judy's video so you can listen to the full message. So, um, firstly, as Eve, the woman, 
So Eve symbolizes the church body. As she was beguiled by the snake in the Garden, garden of Eden, so is the Revelation 12 woman, the church body, is being deceived by the serpent in Revelation 12. And what are these deceptions? The first one uh, is Jezebel in, this, in the form of um, the dress, the look, the attire of a Christian woman. Um, <coughs> Christian women are... Um, They've been, they're falling for the trap and the snare of uh, fashion and they're looking, they still look like the world, they're dressing like the world and they're not practicing modesty as we are instructed to in the word, to be modest holy women of God. So um, as Christian women we're meant to not look like the world at all. How can the world tell us apart? from them and as being godly women if we look like the world and the second uh, husband or deception is leviathan which is the pride of life or the traps and snares of materialism um, and the third deception and husband is python which is false doctrine which is rampant in the church in the church system, and the building, um, false doctrines, beliefs, and watered-down gospel. The fourth deception and husband is mammon, which is money. That's uh, greed, lust for money and the things it can buy you, and a false sense of success. And the fifth husband and deception that the church is under is hermaphrodite, which I suppose must be a, uh, a Leviathan, uh, I mean a marine water spirit as well. I haven't really looked into that myself or come across that. And this represents the, the ever-increasing LGBTQ plus movement that we are seeing all around us, all the perversions and corruptions of what God has made natural and normal. The Satan, the serpent, is twisting just unbelievably like anyone with <laughs> any normal person can see that how twisted things are becoming so so the message is a warning for the church for all Christians is that there is a deadly snake in the water and to get out of the water we are up to our necks deep in this water and it's all around us now and um, because many are so blinded because they're in it they cannot see it for what it is so we're, we're deep in, in the waters of Revelation 12 and um, the waters symbolize the world which is also Satan uh, in scripture you can when you read the world you can uh, interchange that uh, for Satan because uh, he's currently the prince of this world like um, father has given him uh, rulership and reign over this world for this time for at this time and um, yep he has many traps and snares for us to fall into many much many many stumbling blocks I must say that for number one Jezebel the 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 dress and attire and the look of a Christian woman is a stumbling block for man and as Eve was a stumbling block for Adam, and Eve became, there was enmity between Eve and the serpent. This has never ever stopped, and the serpent is using Eve as a stumbling block for a man. And uh, Satan knows the weaknesses of a man. Uh, they are natural, um, God-given desires of a man, but Satan, as he does, he perverts and corrupts everything. So, and I will just show you how, um, because I wasn't understanding how the meaning of the yellow and black, but I'll show you the one, just as I was praying over and researching yellow and black, uh, Holy Spirit, he gave me understanding. So this is um, 
there's a there's a a worldly secular rap artist. Uh, he, he has a song called Black and Yellow, and it's I don't even think it has any evil meanings unless someone knows. Please let me know. But for him, it simply was his colours. I think he comes from Pittsburgh, and his ten colours are black and yellow or black and gold. And so he was just being um, just showing his faithfulness or allegiance to his hometown uh, and it was Khalifa, black and yellow um, and I was just saying to my, thinking to myself that this artist is, he's of the world, if you you don't want to read the lyrics, they're, they're quite pretty disgusting <laughs> um, yeah so as, as I said he is of the world, Holy Spirit let me know that the black and yellow serpent, he is Satan who was the prince of this world and worldliness. So I don't know what else to say, but I pray that the church heeds a warning to get out of the world and all the traps and snares of Satan, particularly the five that was uh, shown to Sister Judy. Get out of the world now and set yourself apart for God. For without holiness we cannot see God. And he expects he's only coming back for a bride that is pure and spotless and without stain, whose uh, garments are pure and white and clean and the church isn't ready. So I pray, please share this as you are led to those of you who know that your um, family and friends are still in the world and pray the Holy Spirit will do a work in their lives. God bless.